I'm Chris Berman. Let's get straight to the action. In our first game this week, we had the Bills edge their, edge their way to a narrow three-point win. We had a big injury in this one, and Trey has the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Chris, thanks. In front of you, we've got the AFC Infirmary Report. And as you can see, they were hit hard this week. Terrell Suggs will be on the sidelines for a while, so this defense will need to do some reshuffling in his absence. X-rays confirming the original diagnosis, it's a broken ankle, and that'll keep him out for the rest of the season. In front of you, we've got the NFC list, and as you can see, they could form their own mash unit. Leonard Davis won't see action for a while, so this offense is gonna have to make do without him. He's suffering from symptoms of a concussion and he'll be out for the rest of the regular season. There's a chance, however, they'll get him back for the playoffs. On to the serious news of the week. Lance Briggs had to be placed on injured reserve, so he'll be on the sidelines for the rest of the year. Just a key blow to the heart of this defense. Now we'll move on to our top story of the day. Marvin Harrison is going to find himself on the shelf, and that will be a major blow to his team. So that'll do it for now. Boomer, back to you. In a long-standing NFC rivalry, we had the Redskins win their fourth game of the year. The Texans won this contest, but will stay at the second place in the AFC South. Abbott stepped it up this week and gave his team some added firepower for the win. Joe Little Bighorn hauled in over 150 yards receiving and helped his Saints beat the Packers. Lions, Vikings. Roy Williams is ready at the 31 yard line. Play gets underway, close coverage. Oh, now with a beautiful move gets open and it's a six spot. The Lions win this one by the final score of 27 to 23. In the home of country music, Tennessee, we had the Titans edge their way to a narrow three-point win. Down in Tempe, Arizona, we had the Cardinals lose by just a single point. The Buccaneers' defense got to the quarterback four times in their win at Seattle Stadium. The Panthers won at home, but will take to the road next week to meet the Bills. In a long-standing AFC rivalry, we had the Patriots win their 10th game of the season. Cowboys, Eagles. Sheldon Brown is set in his own territory and he'll get the punt at the 40. He's gonna break a tackle right there. And look at him go. He could go all the way. 60 yard touchdown. The Eagles go on to win this by the final score of 27 to 20. The Browns won this contest and will now move to second place in the AFC North. Eric Warfield stepped it up this week and gave his team some added firepower for the win. Antoine Randall L. pulled down 100 plus receiving yards and helped his Steelers beat the Ravens. And last but not least, we had the Dolphins come away victorious. All right, Chris, thanks. With the playoffs a little more than a month away, things are starting to get real interesting when it comes to seeding and the races for the division crowns. Let's start things off by taking a look at the AFC. Meanwhile, over in the NFC, the playoff picture looks like this. So that's how things shape up. Still plenty of intriguing matchups upcoming as we get closer and closer to January. And that'll do it from here. Chris, let's send it back over to you. So that'll just about do it. But before we go, I'm gonna toss out a few game balls to my prime time players. Each and every one of these men had a week to remember. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.